Now, why are black women in the UK four times more likely to die from complications in pregnancy and childbirth than white women? Deaths among women from Asian backgrounds also two times higher than for white women. One charity is trying to find out why those disparities exist by launching an inquiry led by an expert panel made up of affected families, midwives, obstetricians, plus health and human rights lawyers. I should tell reports. After the birth of her two children, Sanja Igwe felt she wasn't treated fairly. We aim to connect, support... And she decided to start campaigning online and search for other mothers who had similar experiences. Now she's co-chairing an inquiry supported by a charity into the issue and sharing what she went through. Both of my birthing experiences were, is what I would call traumatic. Um, I felt like I didn't have my words heard. I felt like my words were dismissed. I felt like I was ignored. Some women watching might say that all birth is traumatic. What was it about your birth that you specifically thought that they're doing this because of the colour of my skin? Um, it's evident that we have and we do experience institutionalised racism on a day-to-day -day basis. And so the maternity services will be a part of that as well. I do believe that if I was a different colour, I would have been treated definitely differently. Death in pregnancy and childbirth is rare in the UK. Most women who died had multiple health problems or other vulnerabilities. But reports over the last five years have highlighted that women from ethnic minority communities are overrepresented. Black women are four times more likely to die than white women in pregnancy or childbirth. Women from Asian backgrounds almost twice as likely to die. This has dropped slightly since last year's report for black women who were five times more likely to die. But the conversation about black women's maternity care has been going on online for years. We spoke to dancer Kalechi Okafor who after campaigning on the issue gave birth to her first child in 2019. The nature of the way that racism and race operates, I guess, in the UK is that we feel that it's impolite to have these conversations. The more we speak out, the better. So I don't mind being the angry black woman. Midwife Benash Nazmin is also part of the inquiry which is being brought about by the charity Birthrights to try and answer some of these questions. She believes her fellow colleagues may need to understand their own bias when looking after patients. So what we need to be able to do is make sure that everyone has got that awareness and is able to address that and check that before we care for people. In a statement, the Chief Midwifery Officer for England said, everyone working in maternity services wants all women to have the safest possible care. They went on to say, we are also fast tracking our continuity of carer programme for women from black, Asian and ethnic minority backgrounds, which will mean they will receive care from the same midwife and team before, during and after they give birth. Sandra Igwe believes speaking on the panel will help drive change. What do you hope this legal framework will do for this argument going forward? This means it's serious. Now we can't be ignored anymore. When you use the human rights legal framework, now we are screaming that we have and we deserve a right to life, just like any other parent, any other mother, any other woman. The inquiry will sit for a year until February 2022. Campaigners say they hope they'll find the answers and solutions to change the statistics.